Oh my God, there's a bear in my neighbor's backyard. Wait, oh, that's nap time in her fur mess puffer jacket. You are so beautiful, nap time. Everybody loves you. When her human went out of town for like a week, nap time's hair got really matted. So she had to be shaved. And it was so funny because when I first met her, she was a bear. Hey, Snickers. She is loving the rubbing, y'all. And she's already purring. Y'all, now Cal Mary's coming over here to try to visit us. Kitty, you have to come home. Yeah, okay, I'll pet your butt. You always want this. Come on, Kitty. <laughs> you have to stay home. You can't cross the street like that. Ever since we moved to this neighborhood, there's at least 150 different cats that we've met. Is he gonna jump the fence? Oh, big stretch Olympic. Hoppy is so talented, y'all. Look at this. Yes, kangaroo kitty. You are so cute and beautiful. And Raven is so funny. He's like, pet me, please. Hello, pet me. It really happens organically that cats would hang out with me. This cat is a good baby because she will let me hold her. When I was growing up, I used to have cats before I moved here. I thought I wanted to pet cats and there's cats in the neighborhood. So we would start to go for walks and we would find cats out there. Oh, there's another cat. <laughs> Sometimes there would be other friendly animals. Oh, you are so cute. Y'all, look at this. What? You are so cute, but don't jump on me though. Thank you, Squirrelly. Oh, hey, kitty. Oh, wait, that's not a cat. This is the perfect neighborhood. We've been getting recognized on the catwalk. This is Cleo, you said? Leo. Oh, Leo. Yeah. Hello there, Leo. I love that. We'll be walking and then one of the neighbors will recognize us and be like, oh, I want to show you my cat. Aww. And it makes me feel so great to build a relationship with my neighbors. Like all of our friends, we met through cats. So I'm really living the dream right now. <laughs> hey, nap time. Your fur looks great. It's grown all back. Yay. People always ask who my favorite cat is. I'm like, I love all the cats, but there's this cat that changed my life. He was living in the alleyway and he was so skinny. I picked him up and he just got on my shoulder and started purring and I was like, oh my God, we have to take this cat home. Now he's just a spoiled king of the house. This is why we call him King Scamper. He's sitting on a heating pad in front of a fireplace. As soon as I sit down at the top of the stairs, he comes running because he has a lap to sit in. <laughs> Good boy. Every time I come home, he's like, I know you've been out there. He knows. If the cat rubbed my clothes too much, I actually changed my clothes, but he is an investigator. You want a kiss? There you go. Come on. 